Have you ever recorded a Zoom meeting? At this point, we're all familiar with the platform and have used it to host and attend virtual meetings. In fact, in April of 2020, Zoom had over 300 million daily meeting participants. One of the biggest perks to using Zoom is that you can easily record and share your Zoom meetings with others. Today, we'll be talking about the benefits of recording meetings on Zoom, as well as how to record and share them. I'm Sissy here with Jotform. Let's get into it. It's not always easy to take notes during a Zoom meeting. Sometimes the speaker is talking too quickly and you miss something while writing your notes. Plus, it's much easier to get distracted while in a remote meeting. You could encounter some technical issues that you don't know how to solve, or you could get distracted by your family members. The good news is it's pretty easy to record a meeting on Zoom, whether you're the one hosting the meeting or not. You can record and save meetings to either watch back yourself or you can share the recording with others. But if you're using Zoom for telemedicine, you will have to get informed consent from your patient before recording. You can use JotForm to create a custom form for patients to sign before you record the session. Now let's talk about how to record on Zoom. To record a Zoom meeting with a free account or Zoom Basic, you'll be able to record your entire meeting, but you'll have to save it locally to your computer then upload it to a cloud service later on if you're trying to share it with colleagues. Tools like Dropbox, Google Drive, or Box are great tools to use for cloud sharing. Since you would have to save it to your computer, you wouldn't be able to record with your mobile phone. Local recording needs to be turned on manually. Simply sign into your Zoom web portal as an administrator and click on Account Settings. Then, under the Recording tab, turn on the local recording if it isn't already on. Now you're ready to record your meeting. If you have a paid account, then local recordings can be enabled for groups of users. To do this, simply go to the Group Management tab, then click on the name of the group. Now go to the Settings tab, and under Recording, find Local Recording, and make sure that it is turned on. To start recording your meeting, start the Zoom call as a host. Click the option to record, and if there's a menu, choose Record on this computer. You will see a red indicator on the top left corner of your screen while the meeting is recording. Then after you have ended the meeting, Zoom will automatically convert your recording. You can pause the conversion if you need to. Once Zoom finishes converting your file to video MP4 and audio M4A formats, a folder with the recording will open so that you can rename the files. The default titles come up as Zoom 0 MP4 and audio only M4A which won't be very helpful to you, especially if you have multiple Zoom meetings recorded. Now, if you have a paid account, you're able to record your Zoom meetings and save it in Zoom's cloud storage, making sharing your recordings much easier. And you can record to the cloud from your laptop or a mobile device. Other users can access the recording as long as you grant them permission. Enabling cloud recording is similar to local recording. Just go into the recording tab and turn on cloud recording. Now licensed users can record meetings. Cloud recording also gives you more options as to how and what you can record. You can even change the recording layouts. This allows you to record the active speaker view with a shared screen, a gallery view with a shared screen, or the active speaker, a gallery view and a shared screen separately. You can even save the chat messages and add timestamps to the recording. Once you've started your meeting, you can begin cloud recording by clicking the record button in the Zoom toolbar, then choose record to the cloud. Then when you stop the recording or end the meeting, Zoom will process the recording to view using MP4 and M4A files. You'll receive an email notifying you when your recording is complete and ready to use. Let's review. Recording on Zoom is pretty simple. To record locally, go to your account settings and in the recording tab, turn on local recording. Then once you're in the meeting, choose the record option in the toolbar. Recording to the cloud follows the same process, but instead of turning on local recording, you would turn on cloud recording. It's that easy. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope this video was helpful. I'm Sissy here with Jotform. Have a good one.